afternoon from the CBS 19 newsroom. I'm Jillian Sheridan. And I'm Justin Early. Smith County leaders are considering a policy that would formally allow roadside fundraising. But who does it affect? The Shriners are running out of time before a children's hospital fundraiser soon. We'll show you where and how you can weigh on a proposal tonight. Texas Republican gubernatorial candidate Greg Abbott makes a stop today in East Texas. The state attorney general made an appearance at Loggins Restaurant in Tyler. He talked about the rights to bear arms, Obamacare, and the importance of getting out the vote. East Texans today gathered to rally to support a minimum wage increase. The Congressional Budget Office says President Obama's plan to raise the minimum wage to $10.10 an hour would lift about 900,000 people out of poverty, but at the same time, it might slash more than 500,000 jobs. Hear from East Texans tonight. In Harrison County, Marshall ISD is canceling the 7th grade football program at Marshall Junior High School. The decision was made and approved by the School Board of Trustees during Monday's regular February meeting. What's behind the decision tonight? And in tonight's JB's Journal, we're taking a look at Tyler's famous brick streets. They were created out of necessity. In the early 1900s, cities around the U.S. started paving the way for the use of automobiles by turning their dirt-lined streets into ones paved with bricks. J.B. Smith shows us how Tyler was transformed by this creation tonight. All that plus weather and sports on KYTX CBS 19 News at 5 and 6. Visit CBS19.tv anytime for the latest online.